All right, time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss another derivatives application, and I'll look at some biology. Uh, basically, this useful topic that I uh, saw in my calculus book, and I wanted to share right here. Basically, if we let n equals to f of t be the number of individuals in an animal or plant population at time t, then the change in population size between times uh, t1 and t2 is just going to be well delta n equals to f of t2 minus f of t1 or the population at t2 minus population of t1 and the average rate of growth during that period of time is and this is just equal to or well, we could also write it after average growth rate or average rate of growth same thing this just equals to delta n or difference in the population in the during time period divided by delta t whatever that time period is and this is this could be also written as T, uh, this is f of t2 minus f of t1 all divided by yeah, t2 minus t1 right here. Now if we were to find the instantaneous rate of growth, uh, basically this is just obtained when this average uh, growth rate is basically, well we shrink this uh, delta t. So, so we obtain it from the rate of growth by letting the time period delta t approach zero or in other words, we find the limit. So then the growth rate, so we take the remove the average out of there. And this will be referred to instantaneous growth rate. This is just equal to limit as delta t approaches zero of delta n over delta t. And this is just definition of derivative. This just equals to, well, dn over dt right here. So this is the derivative and it's just a the instantaneous rate of growth. But the one problem of uh, writing the instantaneous uh, rate of growth as a derivative is because, well, if we're strictly speaking, this is not quite accurate because basically the actual graph of a population function n equals f of t would be a step function. You can see a video link below on step functions. And basically that is discontinuous whenever a birth or death occurs and therefore not differentiable. Uh, you see that in the video link below on differentiable functions. Basically what it's saying is that, well, you're not gonna have a smooth curve of people uh, people or plants or whatever, whatever uh, uh, giving birth or, or dying out because, well, that there's no such thing as continuous uh, birth, etc. So uh, of a population, so you're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be flat and all of a sudden there's gonna be a birth goes up and etc. So it's gonna be discontinuous. But however, for a large animal or plant population, we can actually replace the graph by a smooth uh, approximating curve as shown below. If we were to look at this step function, this step function, this closed, yeah, this, clo this filled in circle means this is the value. So you're gonna be stuck at this one until there's a birth. And then you're gonna be stuck until there's a birth. So it's like this, but if it's a large population, we could approximate it by basically a curve. So we can just, draw a curve across it like that. This is something rough like that. So we could appro approximate that by this curve right here. And then with this curve, we could apply the basically the derivative or the growth rate. So now to uh, help better illustrate the uh, population uh, biology concept above, basically we'll go over this example. Find the growth rate after four hours of a population of bacteria, which doubles every hour. Assume the po initial population is basically n, n0 or n0 equals 100 bacteria right here. So first we need to find a function for n of t equals to f of t right here. Yeah, so we know that the bacteria doubles every hour. So for the first hour, so after the first hour, we know it's going to be, well, two times f of 0 right here, or at time 0. And this one is just n0, so it would be 2 n and zero right here times the initial one right here and then f of two this one is equal to well two times it's gonna be double again from the from the one hour right here f and again I'm, I'm using t is in hours right here hours so this is gonna be f of one so two times f of one and this equals two well two times two and not or two squared and not right here. That's the initial population. So then f of 3 again, we're going to be doubling. This is going to be 2 times f of 2 or 2 basically times 2 times it by 2 and not because that's just here. We just add another 2 or it equals again 2 to the 3 and not. As you can see the pattern, 
So the pattern is pretty straightforward. We could find out that f of t now is equal to, well, 2 to the power of, as you can see, this one is going to be a 1. So there's a 1 and 1. And if we look at f of 0 right here, this could be written as 2 to the power of 0 and not because 2 to the power of 0 is just 1. So we have a 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, et cetera. So f of t is just going to equal to 2 to the power of t times it by n naught. Yeah, so now we have the basically the population uh, right here. So this is a population function. Uh, my calculus book uh, writes it similar. So just write n equals 2 n naught times 2 to the power of t. They just put it like this, just, just so we put the constant in front of this variable right here. But anyways, it's the same exact thing. So we have this right here. So to find the population, the, the uh, growth rate, we take the derivative. So dn over dt. Yeah, so we have to find a derivative of this. This equals to, well, this is a constant. This could just take it out, times it by, well, the derivative of this 2 this yeah, two t over uh, base of dt. And remember, this is an exponential function in the form of, well, ax. And I showed in my earlier video, so make sure you watch that. Basically, the derivative of this is just equal to, or if we write d, yeah, dAx over uh, dx, it's just equals to ax times it by, well, the derivative of uh, ax dx at, yeah, at x equals to zero right here. And, and but if you have a derivative of e to the x is b equals to e to the x. That's why e is special. But just make sure you watch this in the video link below. But for uh, d two x is derivative of this one right here. If we look at yeah this function right here, this just equals to well it's it's approximately actually put it like this, uh, 0.69 times by two x. So make sure you watch the the video on the derivative of an exponential function on in the video links below to get this. So we're just going to get use this approximation for this number. So then the population growth rate is just going to be dn dt equals to n naught times it by 0.69 times it by, well, 2t. And now we could plug in what we know. This is going to be dn over dt equals to, this is at uh, at t equals to 4. Or we'll just put the 4 right here. So dn over dt at t equals 4, just put the 4 in. This is going to be, a, never know, n naught is 100 times by 0.69 times it by t to the power of 4. So you plug this in the calculator, you will get 100 and I mean 1104 right here so this is the number and this is basically uh, population per hour right here or yeah bacteria per hour so this is saying after four hours the bacteria is growing at a rate of 1104 bacteria per hour right here I'll just uh, highlight that yeah, and here I've typed out what I just said. Basically, after four hours, bacteria is growing at a rate of about uh, 1,100 uh, bacteria per hour. So this is an estimate already because we're using 0.69. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from uh, this example and this application of uh, the derivatives in biology, and also you can see my other videos on uh, derivative applications. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.